Alrighty, so this is the second time I record this because apparently I had my mic muted, but um, it seems like we now have everything working correctly and we can hear everything. So let's get into it, shall we? Um, so I haven't used this in a bit and I haven't uploaded videos about this topic in a bit. So I wanted to go ahead and do one, right? So what are we going to be talking about today? Today we're going to be talking about binary trees. There are multiple types of binary trees, but we are going to be looking at the most simplest one. Um, so what is a binary tree? A binary tree is a data structure that is similar. It builds upon linked lists, right? Um, so what are the differences between a binary tree and a linked list? Well, because we have tree in the name, we can expect that the data structure will look like uh, kind of like a tree structure, right? Um, so, let's first talk about the node. It's similar but different at the same time to the uh, linked list node. Uh, so, in this node, we have, as always, we have a value, right? There's an A. We have a value. This can be any type. Uh, we'll tell it that it's an integer at first and we also have two pointers to the nodes this time we have two pointers and we are gonna call them leaves um, that's usually what they're referred to so we're gonna be calling them leaves relief and so what's leaf um, we're going to have two of those. One is going to be left leaf. And the other one is going to be right leaf. Cool. Uh, so these are pointers to other places. So from this, you can gather that the we have a node, a base node, just like we do like the head. But in this case, this is called the root node because trees have roots. <laughs> this root has branches, right? Well, in the tree we're talking about, it's only one branch. Or actually two branches and it's got leaves these are the leaves and those children have also branches and leaves and their children also have the same thing pretty much everybody has that Right. So, what is this useful for? If you're working with games, or pretty much any other thing, really, uh, if you're making an application that you have hierarchical data, um, for instance, I'm going to be talking about games because that's um, something that we know mostly. Uh, so let's say you're working with a scene. Um, usually you have this thing called a scene graph that allows you to keep track of relationships between objects and how the scene is comprised, like formed, right? And so we have this root scene node um, in Unity, it's usually just 
the name of the scene, right? Um, which, I don't know if, it doesn't really matter where the pivot is, but whatever. Um, so then, in, this is the hierarchy, right? Hierarchy. Hierarchy, how they call it. And each one of these, um, so let's say we have a game object, right, in the scene. And then this game object probably has some other game object. Let's say one, two. And then maybe over here we got, I don't know, some other game object. Well, this is pretty much what it is. It, it allows you to organize uh, your data in a hierarchical level. Um, we know that by looking at this, that this node here is a child of this node. Um, usually, this allows you to have, like when you rotate this guy, it can allow you to 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 rotate all the children uh, together, right? Or if you were working with an animation system, you have you know this skeleton rig um, like this, and then we get like this, and then like this, right? And then we get like the spine here, and then we get that, and that, and that, and that. And that. In that. Well, all of this, what it is, it's all of that, right? So the root is here somewhere, and we'll call it pelvis. Pelvis. And then, as the root, then we have the lower body and then we have inside the lower body the left leg er, and the right leg and we also got an upper body and that's got a neck the neck's got a head and we got a left shoulder or clavicle. Left shoulder. And then we get a right shoulder. And so on and so forth. So whenever you rotate this guy, the whole object rotates. Whenever you rotate, let's say, this bone right here, only the upper body rotates. Whenever you rotate this guy, only the head rotates, and so on and so forth. It's a hierarchical system, and it allows you to interpolate the rotations throughout the children. Um, we can also do that for um, if you wanted to do physical-based animations in a game, kind of like um, World of Goo. I think that's what they did. Um, all those little structures that you see there that hold up the structures that you gotta make in order for you to like you know pass the level and let all the goo out um, they use that pretty much um, their structure seems more complicated but anyway but it's pretty much the same thing it's the uh, it's pretty much yeah the same thing da -da -da -da. so uh, there are some other systems that you can program using this. Um, uh, binary space partitioning is one of them. Um, pretty much you look at your level and you cut it into pieces. And based on those pieces, you can draw and see, draw more effectively. 
um, you can do collisions more effectively. You can do a lot more effectively uh, with a tree structure like that. Anyway, let's get started on it. So I haven't used this in a while, so I'm going to have to re-download it. Um, we are going to go into development and main project. We are going to get git bash and we're going to make a directory called data structures tutorial and we're gonna go into that folder and we're gonna get clone this guy right here du, 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 du. Oh, where was it here it was paste and it's all done now this guy thinks that we're using um, if I open this and I use this it's gonna think that we're using 2019 and that's not it at all I don't want to upgrade this project into 2019 um, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to open this guy first and then find the project that I want to open. So open project solution and, and I hope that this is the correct Visual Studio version. Uh, fortunately, it's not. Okay, so I guess since we have to... Okay, that's 2013. So I've been using 2013. I don't have that anymore. So I guess since we have been using... Um, we have now 2019. Um, I apologize. If you have 2013, go ahead and you know continue with 2013. If you have any other one, um, I'm sorry. But we're going to have to change... Know what happened here? Hmm. Maybe that can stay the same because we're not really using these other ones, right? So I guess I could just add another project in here uh, make sure it's not c sharp and it's for windows and console empty project we're gonna click next we're gonna make it part of that and it's gonna be called data structures binary tree and we're going to create that hopefully everything will turn out good and there we go now we can add our main file in here and there we go All right, so let's create a class called node and I'm just going to create it here in line and we are going to have some member variables which the first one was the value and the second one was the node pointer to the left leaf. And the right leaf. We could also have a third pointer that points back to the parent. Uh, we might not need that at the moment, though. Uh, 
Uh, we, we can also do is just say value. And it's going to be value. And um, leaf is just zero. And then right leaf is just zero. So this is our initialization list. Um, so we don't need to do anything there. We may not need a destructor, but we're gonna have an empty one just for now. Um, and I think that's it for the node class. It doesn't really have to do much. Um, we could do a print function. Uh, print uh, Yes, I do need that. And we're gonna we're gonna do the following include we're gonna do that one. Print F, and we're going to print the value. So, percent D, value, and it's just value. And that's pretty much it. So now we are going to work with um, the tree class. And this shouldn't be S node because it's not a structure. And I was going to call it C node because it's a class node. I usually do the notes with a structure instead of a class, but it's no really, there's really no difference between them. Uh, the only difference is that the class has by default private stuff uh, for the variables, but the node, the, the structure does not. Uh, but you can do anything with it. It's, it's, it's the same pretty much. Um, so we're going to be creating a binary tree public private so the private stuff oh, not C node it's gonna be just the root right and we're just gonna initialize the root let's call this p root and it's just going to be null pointer which zero is the same as null so there we go um so let's look at let's consult with google and see um binary tree uh, function members member functions we can guess to see what kind of um, functions they have but I think we can just do a little bit of research. Um, we have, you know, the does we have we're gonna obviously have add and remove and probably get at some point. Um, we may not do all of them, but where are the functions? Okay, here we go. 
So we got insertion, deletion, traversal, and in traversal we've got uh, depth first and breadth first. So we probably are just going to do depth first since that's one of the easiest ones we can do. Um, in a different tutorial we may talk about breadth first. Pretty much what depth first is, you just go on the left side from the, like, I'll show you here, like, depth first is you start here at this node and you go to all, you visit all the left ones first. Once you've done visiting all the left ones, then you visit all the right ones. And if you find a left one, you're going to visit that one, right? And then this one. And then you go back up or this way, this way, this way. And then you go here and then you go here and then you go left again. So it's going to be always left. If you can go left, always go left. Otherwise, you're going to go right. And that's going to pretty much allow us to traverse the whole tree. Um, there are some rules for addition. I mean, for adding a node to keep it balanced. There are some balancing functions as well, which we may not talk about in this tutorial. Because um, there is just a lot a lot to learn about binary trees that we cannot go over it in just one video unless we take forever, you know, making the video, which I don't want to take too long, but it's going to be a long video already. Uh, so, so there we go. Uh, so the height, I believe is called the height of the tree. It's pretty much how many levels there are here. So the height of this tree is going to be um, zero, one, two, three, so four, because there's four levels. Um, when you add stuff, usually you, you say that the left one is going to be the, um, let's say you have three here, right? Three. So anything greater than three at the root, if, if you want to add it, to this, let's say you're adding six, right? So we're gonna add six to the right one. So it's gonna be here. And if you add two, we're gonna add it here. So let's try to add five, right? We're gonna see that that five is greater than three. So we're gonna go to six. And then we're gonna see, okay, is six is actually greater than five. So five is gonna go on the left right here. And if we do seven, then we're going to add seven here. And then if we do, uh, let's add one. So if we try to add one, we're going to say, okay, uh, we're going to go to the left because one is less than three. And here we're going to go to the left again, because one is actually less than two. So <clears throat> this is going to go like that. And you can already see that this is getting a little bit lopsided. You have more stuff here than you do on this side. So a way to actually um, make it not lopsided like this is you would have to pretty much do, you have to traverse it and you have to find, okay, which one, um, Pretty much what, we, what you would do is you would make root uh, probably six or five. You could probably make five the root. Um, and then you can do three on this side and six on this side and then seven on this side and then two on this side and then one on this side. So it'll look like this once you actually um, balance it. But there's different algorithms for balancing that we're, we may or may not cover today. Anyway, so that's how you add, and that's how, or usually, that's how you add, and whatever.
So let's go ahead and do that, right? Dun, dun, dun. So insert and we're going to take in a value. And the easiest way to traverse a tree is by using something called a recursive function. I think they talk about it here somewhere. Um, there we go. This is recursively visiting each node in left and right subtrees of the root. Um, so, so pretty much what a recursive function is, um, is a function that digs deep based on the condition. So what we'll show you right now, uh, void insert recursive, and it's going to take a node uh, whoop, whoop, whoop. p node, and we're probably going to pass the value because we got to make sure that we find it. So what we want to do here is if not p root I'm going to make p root here. So p root is going to be um, a node, and we're just going to pass in the value there. But if we have p root, we are going to insert recurs recursively, and we're just going to pass in p root here. And we're going to pass in the value there. And what this is going to do is we're going to say, okay, if p node, if there's something in the node, then we are going to check um, is. Let's see what we should call it. Let's do a bool, say is less than, and this is going to be p node value greater than, actually less, yes, yeah, less than value, or what are we checking here for, actually? We are checking to see if this value is greater or or less than this guy, right? So if let's probably switch them around. So if this guy is is less than that guy, then we'll say that is a true statement. So if is less than insert recursive we're gonna do p node and we're gonna choose left node and we're gonna pass in the value otherwise we're gonna to the right side. 
And since we're using p root and whatnot, I'm gonna do this guy p l leaf and p r leaf. To keep names consistent. Okay, so so once we find something that is null, we're gonna be here. So we can say that P node can actually be now a node and but only if it's like that because we're gonna have to go through this side of the of the if uh of the function as when they get out of it and i'll show you what it looks like Okay, so we create the node. Um, and let's also have a void. We call it clear. I'm going to call it uh, clear data or data, whatever. Boom. And we're going to have this guy. And we're going to say clear data. Re Recursive breadth first, actually depth first, right? And we're going to take pretty much what we're taking here. And we're going to say if P node, then all we need to do is just go pretty much all over the place with this guy so we're gonna go with the left first and then we're gonna do the right second And we're just going to say delete a node, p node is zero. And that should do it. Now, what we want to do now here is just print out, just debug stuff. Um, we're going to say, um, actually, do we have output? No, we don't. Whatever. Printf. We're going to say, deleting node D. And we're just going to pass it P node. Uh, we can just say print, really. Deleting node. And then that will be it. Like that. And... And, 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 that should be it for now. So, C, binary tree, let's call it tree. I'm just going to do that, and we are going to have a tree, and we're going to say, okay, let's insert several numbers here, right? Let's insert what we are talking about, so three. And then six, and then let's do two. 
and then let's do five. Let's do sit one. Let's do seven, eight, whatnot. And then let's do three. Oop. Clear data. And let's take a look at what's happening. Uh, debug. And we have some uh, right. So we know that this guy has that. There's nothing wrong with the configuration of this guy, but there is something wrong with... Oh, dummy. Well, we've got to set that guy and start a project, and then that should be fine. Alright, so we have this guy, and we have... Okay, we don't care about that yet, so we've got our stuff here. We're going to say that we have a tree here. Um, so far, it's empty. Well, it's not even empty yet. Now it is. There we go. And then we are going to go inside of this insert. The first one is to peer root. Let's do value. And let's also look at the P node because we're gonna eventually get there. Not at this point, but we're gonna do that. Okay, so we inserted one and that was at the root, right? So that's the root is valley three. Uh, we don't have anything for the leaves, right? So what this is going to try to do is going to go inside of the recursive function and it's going to try to go here. Did we add another one? Oh, no, but we should definitely get out of it as soon as we hit that guy. Anyway, let's continue. We're going to insert six. So we are here. We are currently this guy. We're, and we're going to say, OK, is what we're trying to less than <laughs> so is it less than if, if is what we're trying to insert is it less than what's on this node and the answer was false it's actually greater than so we're gonna go to the right right so we're gonna go in here now we're here and this one node is uh, no, so we should be adding that there, right? So now we have a six there. Huh. 
Huh. And apparently it's not adding them to the list, so we just have random data. So I guess what we could do is maybe we can say if the node um, p left leaf if it's zero then we can just do p left leaf is new value otherwise we do that and we do the same for the right node and we don't have to do anything there We'll see what happens now. Okay, so we create that. We go in here, we do that, and then we get out. Then we go in here, we go into the root. Um, and, okay, so it's, it's gonna be in this one. So we're gonna create that note there. And we are gonna exit. And then we're gonna add two and then we add a two there. We're gonna add five. Uh, one, keep missing these. So we're trying to add one at the moment, which is this guy. And we are gonna traverse. Um, we're gonna go and see, okay, right now we're at the, at, at the node. Um, and we're going to check to see if this value is less than the actual node. If it is less, then we're going to go to the left and we're going to go into two. And then from here, we're going to say, okay, if this value is less than this node value. And if it is, which it is, it's going to be in the left. We're going to add it to the left node. Okay. So we're going to go into here. We're in the left node. This is two. And then we're going to add it right there. And we can also see this one. Um, let's do number eight because that one is bigger. So uh, we're at three and we're trying to add eight. So it's not less than so we're going to go in here and we're going to go into the right leap. We are now at six. So we want to add eight and eight is greater than six. So we're going to go into this leap and then we want to see if seven is actually greater than um, eight, but it's actually less than so. Um, we're gonna go into the right because eight is greater than seven and we're gonna add eight right there and there we go so now if we if we look at our tree right here we have these branches now right and some of them have some values uh, some of them don't. So let's go and, and, and see if they are actually in the correct correct spot. So, um, so our tree should actually look like so three, and then. We're going to say six over here and two over here. And then we're going to do 
five here. And we're going to do two, one over here. Then we're going to have seven, which is going to be over here. And then we're going to have eight, which is going to be here. So this is our current tree. It's more heavy on the right than on the left side at the moment. So we're going to look at the left leaf of the root, which is going to be two. And we can see that that's true. Uh, and two has only one uh, node, which is one. And it's on the left leaf. And we have found it. And now we can see that these two are null, so we don't need to check further. Now, on the right side of the tree, um, we have six, and that's correct. And then to the left of that six, we have a five. Right there, and it has no children. And then we have eight, seven. And we also have eight on the right. And it all matches. So we are adding things to the uh, thing correctly. Now let's see how we... Oh, shit. Didn't even add that there. So we just probably have some memory leaks. Um, what we need to do was to put that in here and we didn't so we're gonna say if p root if we do have something there p root okay so uh there's another thing that i wanted to do and that's gonna be traversing the list Right, so we want to see all of the, let's see, all the values, print nodes, uh, depth first, right? Um, and then we're going to call another function similar to this guy. So we can see what happens. And we're just going to say print nodes recursive depth first. And it's pretty much... gonna say if p node we are just gonna go here left right and we're pretty much gonna do the same thing So uh, how this is going to work is, let's go back to our tree. So we're going to go, we're starting here, and we're going to be going to the left, all the way to the left. So until we see nothing. Uh, so we're going to go into the actual uh, null pointer here, and on this side as well, on the left and the right, because of this, right? And we're just going to exit because we won't reach this part and it's just going to exit. So we're going to exit this and this and we're going to end up being back at one. At this point, uh, we're going to print the node and actually we're just going to say and 
that we're just gonna say that and we're gonna be printing here we're gonna be printing here and then we're gonna be printing here and then we're gonna be going here and then here and printing five and then printing six seven and eight so in theory we should be printing let's call this function um let's make a little guess as to what we're going to be printing and we're going to be printing one two three five six seven eight that's what we're going to be printing with this function with depth first now what is breadth first um i don't think i have told you guys what that is yet but breadth first is pretty much going through each section here so if we printed something in this so we, we would start at the root and we're, we would be like okay we're at the root that's the first section and then we're going to be going into here and then we're going to be going into here and then printing whatever we need to print and then we would go here and then here and then here so pretty much it would be instead of going all the way down and right all across this it would actually be per section so we would go this section this section this section this section and then we would print everything so that is what breadth first is okay so so we're gonna do all of that and we're just gonna do that and we should see the contents printed and we have one two five eight seven six and three i guess that makes sense because we are pretty much going here like left all the way and then left here and then going all the way right and then going backwards to printing up to here And we deleted these in the same order because we're just doing depth first. And that's it. So what if we wanted... What if we wanted to print them in order? Print nodes in order. Right. So how would that look like? Let's see if we can if we can do that recursive. And we'll start with the same thing but it's not going to be the same obviously p node and so what's going to happen here if we wanted to do that we would have to go into the whole thing and then once we get out of it we would print everything there And then we want to go in here. So we would go in and go all the way to the left. And 
then as we exit, we print the nodes. Then we go to the right. Then we would go to the left. Then we would print in five, and then we print wood, print six. Let's see, five prints. So we actually print, we would be printing some notes twice. So if we print it there, and then let's call let's go that. Let's see how we print it. Front node and order recursive link. Let's try it again. So did we did we do it in order this time? One, two, three, five, six, seven, and eight. Yes, we did. So uh, that was a little bit of thinking, but not too much. So there it is. That's how you would print in order. Um, pretty much what how this works is you go into the left as we would normally. Um, so as soon as you get out of that left one and go backwards, you start printing them, right? So we would print one, then two, then we would print three, and then from three we would go back to we would go into the right now into six but then we would start up here from that one so we would go into five and then we would go into the null and then we would print five and then we would print six and then we would go again into the into this one and we would go into this and then we would print seven and then we would go into the right and then we would go into here, and then here and print it, and then we go into the right, and then we would go back until we exit. So we would only print towards it, not away from it. So I guess that's the difference between this one and this one. Okay, so let's say we wanted to get a value, right? Let's try to get some value. Um, let's see. So we want to get a node. And we want get node with value int value so if the root is there we are going to do this you guessed it recursively and 
in this one, you want to return it as we traverse. Oh, we also need a C node, P node. So we want to say, okay, if we have a node here, um, and if this value is the same as the node value, then what we want to do is we just want to return um, this p node value, right? Otherwise, we want to go in deeper. And we are going to go into the left. And we're going to go into the right. Now, let's see. Here is the tricky part. Hmm. We could just do return here. So we Get in here. Hold on. So I'm just going to be get dot value recursive. Uh oh and we're gonna pass in the p root and the value and then the returning result right uh where were we we're here so so we go in here we have P node, so it's three, right? We have three. Uh, that's the root, and let's say we're trying to find one. Uh, so we wouldn't go into here, and we would go into here to the left. We would go into here, then this is two. Then we would go into here again, and this is one. So one, then we return that one. So then we are here. So then we would return it here and keep on returning it until it returns all the way. And then it would be here. And no. If we reach here, we'll do. Yeah, because we would just return from there. So return zero here, maybe. We'll have to debug and see how close we are to it. But, but yeah. So tree. Get node with value. Let's say we want to get one again, like we said. C node 
And this is result, P result or something. And we're just going to say, okay, uh, P result print. And we're going to say printf. And we're just going to say result node. And that's going to be that. Right? So let's actually. Totally forgot we were in it. <laughs> so we are in here. We go in here and we want to find this guy, right? So P node is three, value is one, and we haven't found it, so we go in deeper, we are at P node. It's two, uh, value is still one. We don't have it. Value is one now. P node is one. So we return that. And then we're here and we're gonna return whatever the return value was. So that. And then we're gonna return that return value. So that. And then we return that return. And this guy is actually what we wanted and we got that and it should say uh, result node value one which is exactly what we wanted that's pretty cool now let's try to get eight the last one over there are we gonna be able to And we do that, and we just we'll just do that. Okay, so what happened here? Apparently, what is this value? This value is null. Um, so let's do this this thing. So we've got. Okay, so we're here. Right? I don't even know where we got to. Yeah, result node, that's where it crashed. So apparently we didn't get what we wanted. And we'll be checking out why in a bit. So let's just do that. All right, this is pretty cold outside. I can feel it in here. It's snowing. Or it was, it still is, kinda, yeah. All right, so that didn't work and I think I know why, but let's debug this. So we're here, we Want to go in and go through each node. I think it's because of this. Um, and I may have a solution to it, but we'll see. So we're at three, and we want to see if eight is where we are at, and that is a no. So we go in here. So we're at one, right? And then this is where where we get. We return zero. Um, and this is the problem because then we're gonna go back to this point and we're just gonna be returning zero all the time until we get here and then we see that result is actually zero which that's not true um so yes so our solution 
should be. Where are we? We are here. Get. So, we are gonna have this guy, and we're just gonna we're gonna say, okay, this is zero, and we're just gonna return result here at some point, and. We're going to catch whatever it is that we're trying to catch here. Um, but now the problem is at the moment that if we go to the right, we're going to eventually, let's say we find it here, right? Let's say we find one again, but this doesn't know that we found it um so we're gonna go into here and we're gonna pretty much be rewriting this thing here so we can see <sighs> sorry so if we i guess what we could do is we could say if uh result is zero then keep looking and I guess we would have to do it for the both of them but if it's not then we're obviously gonna go here and return Let's see if that fixes the problem. And we got something in return. And yeah, it's eight. So we have successfully gotten our value. So now in theory, we should be able to get anything. So let's try to get five here. Um, let's get rid of these and yeah we got five cool so we are able to get that stuff now we don't need to make this like that we're just gonna make it into not a pointer. So there we go. And we're just going to make sure that it works. And it works. Awesome. So. I think that's going to be it. Um, we're actually in one hour and 22 minutes or so into this video. I'm um, gonna try to cut some things out that may be too long uh, or just doesn't really need to be in the video uh, but I hope you guys learned something today if you like this video <laughs> click that like button it's gonna help the search results so other people can find my stuff um, if you haven't subscribed already please do so hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you can get notified whenever you I upload any news um, anything new if you want to support what I do uh, there is a patreon page go to it links are always on the description down below uh, and follow me on social media I'll see you guys later and hope you guys are being safe with you know what's going on in the world take care and I'll see you later goodbye